Hello everybody and welcome back to FS22 Mining on the wonderful Yukon Valley Yes, I am still full of a cold And yes, it's still not pleasant However, I am going to soldier on just for you guys But today, as you can tell, is we have moved all our tailings Because the tailings pile was getting very, very full And, uh, well, our bank account's getting fairly low so I thought why not give it a go and um, move everything over here as you can see we're using the bigger the biggest wheel loader we have just to try and make some more progress yes I know the Volvo is slightly bigger however this is the biggest one we have that was sitting idle um, so we are gonna crack on doing doing this hopefully we can get it all done in this video I would like to get it sold um, so I have done quite a bit already off recording um, There was a lot of tailings like a lot more than I realized So we are just cracking on and I did have to get some ramps built um, Mainly not really for this wheel loader. It was for the other one The other one struggled to reach but I thought why not use them Anyway, I've got them may as well use them now that because that is where they're staying but Happy Friday, everybody. I know this week has gone quite quickly, I, I feel. Um, I mean, you know, I haven't really done a whole lot, uh, obviously, because I have been very, very ill. Um, but, you know, still uh, productive nonetheless. Uh, so I hope everybody is looking forward to the weekend. You are finally there, everyone. So you can finally relax and have some chill days at home playing computer games or doing whatever you guys do on your weekends but um well not really much going on for me at the minute uh i've got my uh my beacons getting fitted on my car tomorrow which i'm very very excited about as well as my decals uh and my stickers so i'm very 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 excited for that um and yeah so the wonderful wife hasn't finished the download for farming sim just yet however it is in progress as well as i need to make the mod set because that will be a fairly large one um because there are a lot of mods involved especially on yukon valley because uh, it you know and there's a lot there's a lot and they're very very big um so yeah it's going to be a lot of fun figuring out which mods are what but hey ho eh but we are making short work of this pile we really are we are making some good good progress hopefully we fill more than just one um because i have a feeling if we fill just one we're not going to make a lot of money at all but i don't know be nice to make quite a bit and yes as well I'm sorry for not mentioning this however we did sleep through December uh, the ground was too frozen to do anything and it is also a bit too frozen now uh, especially for the wear on the buckets and the teeth on the buckets so I thought why not go to tailings um, they're already pretty much broken loose anyway and because we've moved them they're not frozen at all um, but we are plowing through in the snow, in the cold, just to get this job done. So let's keep on going. I do think those ramps have helped actually. Next time I think I might just invest in some conveyor belts. Uh, I did look at a few, however, I just didn't really have enough money for it to be... Um, worth it and viable really I still I had this loader just lying around so I thought why not use the loader um, as well I have bought something I have bought a new toy well old toy very old um, it's an old cat d6 uh, the paint is almost gone on it you know the service history is very very bad um, I bought it for 70k and it's gonna go to cut two when that starts because obviously we're going to be using smaller equipment to start off in cut two because uh, we're going to get there before cut one is fully finished um, so it is a little d6 
with a very very small blade it's probably not much use up here I reckon that's why the old guy was selling it he didn't need it anymore um, but I bought it anyway I thought why not let's give it a go and we have in fact filled the first bin full of 300,000 litres worth of pay let's oh we've gone a bit too far that'll do about there I reckon and I reckon we've still got another trailer load another cart load full I reckon but we are making short short work of this everybody um, but once we're done with this I will show you the new purchase uh, I am very happy with it actually um, I think it was definitely something we needed uh, especially for cut 2 as um, you know you you do need a dozer in a cut it's just how it works and the, the, the D11 is really good but if you don't have an opening for the D11 it's kind of you know not really point not really at much point to have it so I thought buy a D6 it's a lot smaller it'll be able to f it'll be able to fit before the big toys come in the big equipment uh, so that's why I did it and I think it was the right choice but basically what's gonna happen is once we're done here uh, we will take the train down we will sell and then uh, on the then we'll have to teleport back just because obviously I can't bring a vehicle with me and that's a very far drive so we're just gonna relax let the train do its thing I don't know if I can just return the train and it will sell it but I don't know if I have to do it don't know guys let me know down in the comments we are I am gonna drive the train this time but tell me in the comments below if you know if the train if I just returned it here and now if it would still go and sell my product or if it would just delete it I'd be very upset if it just deleted it especially after spending so long moving all our tailings from over there to here then load it all and if it were to get all deleted and sucked into the void I'd be very unhappy and very sad however I'm not picking this up for whatever reason there we go so I'd, we don't even have a bucket left on the ground we only have a little bit but I'm thinking of just leaving that little bit there um, just to stop people as well people use this path all the time uh, there's nothing further north nothing further up that way uh, for people to you know be accessing and they keep trying to get in cut through the mine it's very very irritating we'll remove this little bit but I'm gonna leave the tractor I think yeah I'm gonna leave the tractor there just as a blocking force really um, it won't get stolen and if it does I've it's got a tracker and everything on it so I'm not too concerned really but we will leave this here as well we'll pop that bucket down on the ground just like that We'll keep the beacons on, even though it's big, yellow, um, and, you know, very, very loud, even though I just turned the engine off. But we've got 404,000 litres, so we are going to go and sell the products we have. <coughs> Apologies, everyone. We're going to have a lovely little look at the map as well as we go, so very very exciting very very uh, very very happy hopefully this is actually how you do it I have no idea so hopefully I haven't just wasted you know half a million liters worth of tailings um, but yeah this is quite nice actually get a little tour of the map and I get to chill <laughs> I don't use the trains enough really I never really use them it's just not something I'm I don't know I never think of using the train I always just I just leave the tailings normally but I thought you know well because the ground's so hard there's nothing else we can do really 
I just thought we will get the tailings sold now uh, stops it becoming more of an issue later on obviously this train can hold a ridiculous amount 3, 6, 9, 12, 1 1.2 million litres of tailings uh, alone and then obviously oil, wood and everything else I don't know if I was meant to sell here or Ooh, come on stop nope, not going to stop in time nowhere near <coughs> I don't know if we can even sell there Right, let's have a look. That's diesel. Tailings. Is there any one place that accepts them? That's all the way down there. And we're now going to go across there, up there. Ah, oh, one loop. I've rented the wrong train. I need to be on that train, so I need to transfer it. So we do need to be back there. Ah, oh, that's annoying. Let's see if that magically accepts it. Nope. Come on, stop! Okay, and now it's going to take us ages to do this. So basically what I need to do is I need to transfer all the tailings from this one to that one to then get it, get it down there and sold. Because that's just awesome. I need to be in it, I guess. Or have I filled it? Oh no, we're good. Okay. And return. See you later. Right, and now we're back at the mine. We do also have a bucket of concentrate, so we'll run this down to the wash, the wash plant. Uh, yes, I haven't started the gold wash concentrate. Um, the gold separator in absolutely ages uh, that is for a good reason I want to fill it before I make any gold because then we will have the biggest payday ever I'm just going to dump that in there like that awesome and this is our wonderful little D6 it is very old uh, paint is very very worn on it However, I think it will do us a good little job. It will make us proud. But yeah, it's got a lovely little U-blade on it. Uh, very happy with it. So That is what we have bought. Also, he fitted some strobes to it. We've got the green beacon. Because uh, I think this was imported from the UK. I don't know anywhere other country which requires a green beacon. Uh, some more strobes on the back. Lots of very powerful work lights. Uh, the next thing I need to get is a ripper for it, but that is it. But yeah, very, very happy with our brand new, well, brand new old purchase. Uh, tracks look a little bit loose, might need to up the tension on the tensioner just a little bit. But yeah, so that's our next small purchase for cut two, along with these two. Uh, we do have the Komatsu, but I'm thinking we're gonna, I'm gonna trade that in maybe for another 349. Or uh, maybe a Volvo 750. I'm thinking something a little bit bigger than the 349. Uh, but And something a little bit bigger than the Komatsu. So it will be the Komatsu plus some, uh, some funds from myself. But yes. So that is going to be it for today's episode everybody. We did a lot. We moved half a million litres worth of tailings. Uh, we didn't sell them though. Because... 
you know, why would we? Nobody wants to see how much money half a million litres of tailings makes. I really should have thought that more through, so I do apologise, everyone. Um, and obviously, we have the new old D6. But yeah, so thank you all so very much for watching. If you are new here, please do subscribe. It really does help out the channel. As well, if you haven't joined the Discord, please do. Um, you get to get involved in the YouTubes, the, the streams. You also get to just hang out with us. And you get notified of every stream and every YouTube the moment it goes live. Um, as well, as you make a bunch of new friends who are really, really cool and really, really nice. But yes. So thank you all so very much for watching, guys. Remember, I love you all very, very much. And as always, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!